What is up? What's going on? It is your boy FC Neo Tokyo, and welcome to episode 19 of My Heart and Fuego. What is My Heart and Fuego? You missed the last couple episodes? What the heck is going on? I'll tell you what's going on. This is where we take control of the Chicago Fire and turn them into a dynasty within MLS and dominate all of American soccer before spreading our influence through all of North and South America. Anyway. Anyway, it's not going so well. We're in eighth place. Yeah, it's rough. Um, I'm not going to lie. I haven't had a transfer window yet. Sign some free agents. Doing some things. Let's see here. Okay, I'm, I'm excited to play FIFA. So we won last time we played. We won last time we played. And we're playing the last place team in the league. I feel optimistic. Hold on. We've been playing good in our grays. We'll go gray again. Even though they're just god awful ugly. I keep forgetting to change. Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to start to lose. Why is there. Oh, duh. I had a midweek game. Like, why is everyone tired? Duh. I'm sorry, guys. You're just going to have to be tired. We're pretty thin. Anyway, hope everybody's doing fine. Hope everybody's all good. Your boy's feeling good. Had a good day. Can't complain. Cleaning off the glasses. Should have done that pre-stream, but, you know. Why prepare? I feel good about this. We're on the road, but we're playing the worst team in the league. Should have a fine game for you today. Welcome to it. Oh, we get to see David Akam again. I miss you, David. I... The way I play FIFA is I need at least one person who is faster than everyone else on the field so that when all else fails, I can just dump it long. Man, it's amazing to think of all the guys who went to Major League Soccer that I really wanted on the fire who kind of like haven't really panned out. Ooh, that's rough, Philly. Oh, my God, they haven't won a game yet at home. Oh, no. That's that's just this is screams like upset. But anyway, I digress because Bedoya's on the screen here. It's amazing the guys I was pissed that just didn't go to the fire or like, oh man, I really can't wait till he comes back from Europe and you know play and just hasn't shown a lot. And Bedoya is one of those guys who just hasn't shown a lot. And all you shut up about CJ Sapong. He's awesome. I know he's he's just awesome. I will have no bad mouthing of CJ Sapong around here. You got a firm supporter right here. But they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean they're all good defenders in the Man, I wish Jermaine Jones would came to Chicago. I miss Jermaine Jones. There needs to be way more Jermaine Jones in this world. Which again, I don't know what happened with that whole restaining order thing. Hopefully that wasn't like some kind of crazy sexual assault craziness. But if not, then we can enjoy all of the craziness that is Jermaine Jones on social city. I don't know no no no. I'm not saying anything. There was just some weird restraining order thing on TMZ like that came out. And I this was like months ago this was like months ago. And again, sometimes that happens I don't know actually. I really don't know who he was threatening or what even I don't see I tried to start the segment talking good about Jermaine Jones because I like Jermaine Jones and I'm just woefully ignorant on the topic of what he did or what happened because I don't. And by the time you watch this video, I'll probably have been back on social media. But at this very moment, I don't do anything on social media. I try not to. I, I just try not to. It was a big part of my life for a little while, and I was an annoying little brat with it. So now I'm done. I wasn't a total troll, but I was, I'm a brat. Just damn. Anyway, by the way, the person I was talking to who shockingly had no idea that Jermaine Jones was in any kind of trouble is uh, Psylocke. If you're new to the channel, Psylocke is a regular. Her and I have played a lot of games together. Dead Nation, we play Gauntlet all the time. Oh, as of today, new Gauntlet video dropped on the channel. What? And uh, But anyway, we play Gauntlet. We play a lot of old Sega games together. Um, God, what else do we play? Oh, Way Out. Resident Evil 5 coming. 
<laughs> I should stop saying that. I said God of War 3 was coming, and that hasn't can come yet. Which, um, no, I meant 3. Because after I played 4 this year, well, or not this year, last year, but uh, when I... I, and I guess it's not even God of War 4 because we always forget about Ascension because we never finished it. But, um... Anyway, when I was done playing God of War, the new one, the, the Norse one, I loved it. I did. I absolutely loved it. But I still think everything crescendoed perfectly with 3. Like, because those are two separate, wildly different games, right? That's like being a fan of the raid... And then being a fan of, like, The Godfather. or so, Well, that's kind of a bad example. Godfather's a little bloody as well. But, like, I don't know. What's a good drama? Oh, like, okay, being a fan of Forrest Gump and being a fan of The Raid. Right? They're both movies. They're both great. But whatever, right? So. Oh, my God. I completely lost my train of thought because I'm starting to pay attention to the game here. But... Come on. I've had no possession here. and I'm. It's all right. We're on the road. We'll counterattack on the road. How could you say that about me? Just teasing. Oh, I was talking about... Oh, oh, my God. Boom. All right. I was talking about God of War. Okay, my bad. That's what happens when you're playing games and talking at the same time and just rambling. That's what I like about my FIFA playthroughs here as well though is that I just ramble and like let you in but it's fine but um God of War 3 I felt was perfect because it's like it's just the perfect mix of like just sheer stupid retardo blood and like guts and gore and like also it was awesome because if you had played the other two games you were mad at Zeus and wanted revenge and it was just awesome it was just like they should have stopped right there because the whole point of that game was like, no, we're just gonna, nope, we, Greece is done, canceled, Kratos has canceled it, <laughs> you know, it's done, forget it. And um, I just loved it. And it's like the mix of like action and fun and a little enough story to make you be like, yeah, you know, it just, it was just a great game. It was a great game. And so was the new one, but the, the third one was just, like, it's the action. I wanted, The reason I wanted to play that one instead, and the new one's pretty sick. It's got a really cool, like, fighting style that I actually liked. Um, but again, I'm a goofball. But I like the over-the-shoulder stuff, because the, the axe was cool, and, you know, the axe was cool. I'll just keep it at that. Um, but three is just, like, stupid. Three is so stupid. It's just, it's so, ah. I'm passing terribly talking about God of War, but. Trying to try to pass through, but not successful. You're supposed to be a god, and you have to work so hard to beat down these Bedoya. little Clever ball. Psylocke Psy 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 not happy about how, how much it took to kill every little peon, because you're supposed to be a god. But no, that was the best part of three, because you were a god. You just, you wrecked shop. You showed up and, you just showed up and put your fist right through Poseidon's face. I mean, it was pretty darn great. And, like, that was how God of War 3 just started. Oh, and then Gaia being a stupid you-know-what. But, anyway. That's neither here nor there. But, yeah, it was sick. It was sick. So now that I just talked about it, like I think I'm gonna I pump myself up again. I think I'm gonna start pimping the fact that I'm gonna do a God of War three playthrough. Oh no, 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 I took control of the wrong defender. And the fact that they're terrible comes through. Thank you. Anyway, wait, who was that? Okay, good. I was about to say I thought that was I almost got scared for a split second that that was Richard Sanchez. No, thank you. Oh, no! They knew what I was doing. They played me like a fiddle! I'm so sorry. I low-key love 
and Loki hate uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Absolutely love slash hate it. I just, I don't know why. Like, I, I just... Because here's the thing. I'm objective enough to know, like, even though it was really stupid, it's that good Kojima brand of stupid. So it was actually... Yeah, of course. Dax McCarty shooting the ball never goes well. If that ever happens where we score a goal this season, I'm just going to lose my you-know-what. I'm just going to get up and start screaming. I'm just going just, to just gonna lose it. You're going to see my pajama bottoms. It's going to be wild. Anyway. Now I lost my train of thought again. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Gonna try his luck. Goalkeeper able to make the save. Nope. Oh, Wasn't out. it? <sighs> That's an easy cut out for the opposition saw the pass coming. It's Schweinsteiger. Oh, what the... What was that? What kind of cross was that? That was literally terrible. Get there? Ugh, whatever. Bedoya. If DeLu is signed for another season, I'm going to keep him around, but if not, I'm not going to re-sign him. Maybe I should sell him then, not let him go on a free. Because I'm going to try and sign a central midfielder, and if I'm going to be terrible anyway, might as well play the kids. Georgie been having a better season anyway. Well, I don't know who the lad saw there passing. The I mean, Mahalovic the really the back. starter. The, the, the kids, play, play your kids. Play your kids. Opportunity in a wider area. Mo Adams cost us three points though earlier this season. <laughs> the shot's off. That's what I said. <laughs> I really hope everybody can hear her right now. Like usually, yeah, usually I'm like, shh, shh, be cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's my stream. I'm, I'm a big baby about stuff. And <laughs> but tonight she's just on fire. I hope you can hear. Her. <laughs> yes, you did. No, why, why pass it back to? It, Hydration break, yo. Really good game here. Two teams I'm really irritated because I know I got interrupted respect. in a thought I had. But I don't remember what that off. thought is. Yeah, I so I don't remember how, how, how to finish it, but I know there's something out there. So then, like, forever, I'm going to watch this, or whoever's going to watch this, and it'd be like, you're an idiot. What, what about what you were saying earlier? It's whatever. I'm getting better. Getting better. No changes at half. Let's do this. Let's pay a little bit more attention to score a goal or two. From the referee, and we're off and running again for the second half. See if Matt Polster can do anything. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Get there. Nice. You know, I was actually kind of not into the whole Dax McCarty thing. But, like, he's kind of at that age where he's going to be, like, awesome until the moment he's not. <laughs> and it's like, I know they've been talking a lot about that with Ozzy Alonso coming up here. And, um, it's like, you did, they forearmed me. Come on. You know you better point that spot. I guess you ain't going to get that call on the road. It's all right. It's all right. That's all right. I just called for a double team. With the ball Good nowhere. Boy. Oh, yeah, my boy. Best signing of the season. Gotcha. Way better than Ruiz Alvo. Ruiz Alvo has disappointed me. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful. Ugh. I feel so good to be in the lead. It feels so good to be alive. Have another Check your boy on Twitch, FC Neo Tokyo. <laughs> I laugh every time I see that because it's like, 
I do this on Twitch, and then I put it up on YouTube, so then it's kind of like, ha -ha, we're on Twitch, and look, all these Twitch ads. Or it's like, uh, uh, we're on YouTube, look, it's a Twitch ad. It's kind of like the dumbness that, like, I love and hate it. <laughs> like, oh, that's what I was talking about, was Metal Gear Solid Five. Oh, my God. Wrapped it back around. My brain will not explode. I will not wake up tonight in cold sweats. I will finish my thought about Metal Gear Solid Five. Oh my god. But anyway, I will finish this thought real quick is it's funny to see that on a PS4 or even the when it was on the PS3 console when um the Sounders came in the league, you had to have their jersey you you're playing on a PS3 and it says Xbox 360. God, I I was I was mad in the PS3 camp, but I liked all their stupid games. Like I love all the different exclusives. We we've 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 covered this. Metal Gear Solid 4, love it. Um <laughs> a billion other things. Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, you know, I I was really into that stuff. Um there's a hundred other things I can oh, all the resistances, but three no not one was a lot of fun. And three like I can't believe 2 was only single player. That's so stupid. Like, same thing with Killzone 2. You're literally rolling with a crew the whole time. Why can I not play split screen with my roll dog, with Psylocke? More split screen. Why is split screen gone? I don't want to buy six consoles and four TVs. Let me just buy the game once, buy the console once, and play with my best friend. Come on now. Anyway, Metal Gear Solid 5. I kind of love it and I kind of hate it. Objectively, I love it because it's like, hey, it's something else from Kojima that's just batshit crazy and amazing. And then it's like, um, the fan, <laughs> the kid in me likes it, but the fan in me, no, the fan in me hates it because it's not where I wanted Metal Gear to go. Not at all. I would have rather this story just been, and I know what everybody says. This was going to be Metal Gear V, Metal Gear Solid V, and then like six years from now he was going to release Metal Gear Solid Five, and we were going to find out what Big Boss was doing during this whole time. But like, that's so dumb. As a fan, as a fan of the series who bought in even to everything in four, I bought in. I was down. I've got, I hook, line, and sinker. You're going to throw me this crap there now? It's more. Oh no! No! Jeez, wasteful in possession. Here comes the Mexican wave. The crowd Let's do it. Time. When was the last time Rui Salvo did anything? I think actually he had a really great game last game, but whatever. Let's get. Let's just get a change. Let's get a change. He was in there for the midweek game. Let's let's change it up. Fresh legs. Okay. Apparently we're not going to do that. <laughs> Derek Jones and me tell each other. <laughs> I'm actually the guy who doesn't know lyrics to songs, so I act like, oh, yeah, no, I'm just going to stop singing now. But no, literally, I don't know what comes next. I knew like four, four words to every now. song. That's a turnover of possession here. Pass treaded through. Oh, come on. Come on now. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Yeah, how does he? No! Oh, mm! game we're getting here. It's level again. Two teams on top form. And really taking their chances. I'm upset. I'm mad upset. The goal there was superbly taken. Can we just go it's back to talking about Metal Gear and being in the lead again? It's not always easy to finish. Uh, Defenders caught out by it in the end. Uh, Another angle on it here. Ah, oh, the pain, the pain. Level. All right. Oh, we haven't even been attacking yet. Why? 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 Just why? 
I'm just gonna stop there. Why? Anyway. Uh, Mo? Oh no! Come on, guys. We fell apart. And Corrales is exhausted, so that's why they're literally running him ragged over there. Thanks, Cap. Nope, nope, nope. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. And it's out for a corner. Hmm. Just put his laces through it. What a strike. Bottom left. No chance for any keeper in the world. Yeah, really. <laughs> Trying to catch the opposition. Nah, <laughs> this is just the, Ko the Kojima episode. <laughs> get the ball in the box. FIFA 19 brought to you by Kojima Productions. Must take the lead here. Corner given. They'll be hoping to get this set piece right. The goal that will put them into the lead. Uh, whatever, whatever. I say whatever, sir. Whatever to all of this. Anyway, to keep the Kojima theme going, I'm, I'm so, I'm so stupidly jacked. I'm so stupidly jacked about, um, I am so stupidly jacked for Death Stranding. I know we don't know what it's about, but in my head, I've already determined what the game is. The game is set up as a series of, of missions. So it's legit going to be like, each mission is going to legit be like its own. <laughs> yes! Yes! Check VAR! I don't care! It's in! It's over the line! We've done it! Do your stupid dance! Beautiful! Yup! That was way over the line. Into this era of the game. No, this is where it's worth. It's waiting gold, and yep. everybody can go home knowing that the right decision has been made. <laughs> they don't replay the kick. They just replay him dancing like an idiot. <laughs> Was this your second? Oh my God! It's his first goal of the season. Jeez. Ugh. Yes. Off we go again. All right. I feel better. Look at that. Katai, Nikolic, your big-time players got to come through in big-time moments. Fans, though, racking up the atmosphere. Yeah, just important now that they don't launch long balls forward, that they keep their patience. No, launch the long balls. Wrap it around. Wrap it around. Well, Could have had game. some more weight on the pass. It's all right. It's, it's all right. Nope. Nope. The 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 Look at that. Pushing them back. I, I feel good. Anyway, in my head, I've already determined what Death Stranding is. Every, like, he's this weirdo, like, so whatever this world is, it's this weird world with all these deaf beings and, like, if they suck you in, you're kind of like dead forever, but you gotta like, that's why the guy in the run trailer was killing us. I know, I'm making all this up as a go. But like, I really hope, because like with Metal Gear 5, he was, you know, every Metal Gear, it's like, oh, it's like a movie. But then like Metal Gear 5, he was like, it's like two seasons of a TV show that got canceled after one and a half. Anyway, um, so I'm thinking it's like a TV show again, but like nothing is connected. Each story is its own stupid thing. But, like, each thing is he has to transport something, A, across this wasteland thing. Like, maybe, like, civilizations are in these pods in between this, like, wasteland place. So then, like, the messenger people are like, we're the badasses. Kind of like what, like, people in the 90s thought bike messengers were. And, like... Oh, yeah, that was another thing. I, Dude, A, I heard this sick podcast with John Joseph. <laughs> Of Cro-Mags fame. And like, absolutely ridiculous. He said, he... Oh! Ooh! Drive up that transfer budget. Yes, get in that camera. Become a household name. I need these ducats. But, I appreciate the goal. I do. 
I, and I, I appreciate more than anything, actually, coming through when you're supposed to. We're a better team than Philadelphia. We're higher in the standings than Philadelphia. Ugh, yeah, Dax is kind of tired. I'm sorry, you're just going to have to pull a groin, dude. But it feels good to beat the teams you're supposed to beat. And then we're going to get better talent. We're going to beat the teams we ain't supposed to beat. We're going to get in this playoff picture. Because we were six points coming into today's game. We were six points, and, a, and we no longer have a game in hand, by the way. We're actually up to where one or two teams in the playoff race have a game in hand on us, which isn't cool. But, um, no, bad pass, bad everything. Gets his cross in. Okay. Oh, my God. You have to catch that. You have to. Bad, Cavalia. Bad. You have to catch that. Well, we are, we already knew we had keeper issues. We we signed a free agent. Like, we, the best free agent signing we have is Vinicius or Vinicius. God damn it. Vinicius. Vinicius is the best uh, free agent signing we have. Reese Alvo comes in at a close second, and Cavalia has yet to uh, impress. That's two in a row, man. We really don't, we really don't get draws around here. No, no. Man, I feel good about this. I really do. I. I'm in a good mood. I got to talk about it to Death Stranding and Metal Gear, and I didn't forget things. I actually got to my point. There's so many times you're playing and you're talking and you just lose your train of thought, and it's out in the ether. And forever, you're just confused. Wait a second. Philadelphia is not by a mountain. I wish I would not have seen that shot. It, it 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 completely broke the the illusion for me. My God, your boy is so happy. You see, your boy is so happy. Anyway, oh my God, do you see this? We're cre. Oh well, they got a game in hand on us. Oh my God, DC has two games. Oh oh who knew? Anyway, we're creeping into the playoff picture. We are creeping into the playoff picture. If you like creeping into playoff pictures. Anyway, no. If you had any fun, man, give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. We do it all the time over on Twitch, FC Neo Tokyo, one word. Right here on YouTube, FC Neo Tokyo. We'll be back, man. We got videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Peace out and come hang out with your boy.